it here i want to show you how to construct an isosceles triangle when you are given the perimeter and the vertical height how to construct an isosceles triangle when you are given the perimeter and the vertical height the, the value of the perimeter that i'm going to use here is 120 millimeters and the value of vertical height is 40 millimeters let's look at how this can be done the first thing that you need to do here is to draw the perimeter so the perimeter is 120 so from here to here I have 120 so draw the perimeter okay so this is 120 so I will label this perimeter as so this is a and this is B so then locate the midpoint or you bisect line AB that means we are dividing line AB into two equal parts so that is I need to locate the midpoint so this is the midpoint so this is the midpoint all right so we have the midpoint here so I need to take this line So, so this is the midpoint. So the midpoint is here. So I will call it point C. Okay, so that's point C. Then draw a vertical line at point C here. So we whose length will be equal to 40 millimeters. So I'll take a measurement of 40 millimeters as the vertical height of the isosceles triangle. So this is 40 here so here I have 40 all right so this is 40 so this point is point D here all right so the next thing I'm going to do is that I will join AD and BD together join AD and BD together so this is it And then I join BD together. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is that this angle here. So I need to measure the value of this angle. But before that, I would like to construct an arc here. Okay. So if you look at this triangle ADB or ABD is an isosceles triangle. It's an isosceles triangle. So that means this angle here is equal to this angle. These angles of isosceles are equal. So I'm going to measure the value of this angle. I need it. So with my protractor, setting it like this. So the value of angle is 34 degree. The value of this angle is 34 degree. So we also have the same 34 degree here. So what you need to do now is that set your protractor on this line AD as I'm setting it here. Just look at the way I'm doing it. Set it like this. And take angle 34 degree here. So this is 34 degree. So take note of this point. So just put a dot here take note of this point then you do the same here set it on line bd like this and mark 34 so this is 34 degree here so this is 34 
all right so then so take your ruler set at point d and along this point that gives us angle 34 degree so draw a line like this and then bring it to this side from d so you set it set it along this point and you draw a line like this so this line is de and this line is df all right so the isolated triangle that we are asked to construct when we are given the perimeter at the vertical height of the triangle is this triangle DEF triangle DEF is the required isolated triangle so it's as simple as I've done it here so don't forget that this angle here this angle that we have here is also 34 degree this angle is 34 degree and this angle is also 34 degree so if you look at this triangle ADE is an isolated triangle and triangle BDF is an isolated triangle so this is the required triangle is DEF is the triangle that we have to construct whose perimeter and vertical height is given so you can find out look at what we have here so here we have what this is 30 so this is 30 34 so that means ef is 34 ef is 34 as we have it here so 34 then this side this side de is um this is 38 so if you do the calculation okay as i said that if you do the calculation so i said that ef is 34 this de sorry i said it was 38 not 38 this is 43 so for a 3 so if d is for a 3 that means df is also for a 3 so we do the calculation so this is 34 plus um plus 43 so plus 43 again so this gives me 120 so which is the perimeter of the triangle so perimeter of triangle is that you add the length of the three sides together so whatever you get is the perimeter so the perimeter that we are given in the question is a b which is 120 so by calculating this now so that means we have what we have d e plus e f plus d f so that gives us 120 so it means the work the construction is correct Thank you for listening.